this is the first video on my back to school series and I'm super super excited to film this whole series in general and in particular this video because I've never done a what's in my school bag or what's in my bag before and I'm filming this on the 6th of August, I was going to say October then um, and the US go back to school in August I think so I thought it'd be like kind of kind of good time to film it and I go back to school in September so I'm already prepared and I really hope you enjoy this video and I'm just going to get straight into it. So my bag's rather big so I may have to like lean back a little bit to show you but it just looks like this and it's just your basic shoulder bag with long handles and I, that's the reason why I really really like it because of the long handles and it's from Dove Perkins and it's £30 and it's this really really nice grey colour and it just has Dove Perkins oh you can see me I think yeah it has this really nice Dove Perkins logo and it's just got your main zipper and I'm just going to show you what's inside of it so right at the top is a revision guide and if you don't know I'm doing GCSE French so I've just got my GCSE success in French guide with a load of paper inside and I've also got my diary that I'm using to like just generally write in and I have already done diary posts in here and when I'm bored or when I've got an extra five minutes at school I'm just going to add to my diary and that diary was from Poundland and it was shown in my previous haul to this video and then next I've got some sticky notes and these are from Tesco's and they're about one pound something and these are going to be really good for English like sticking on corners of page and like when it does come to my first exam which is in October I'm going to put these sticky notes around the house and then put questions on what mum's going to have to answer so I did this when I did my maths test and it was like what two times eight or something like that really quick mental maths and these are really good value and the next thing is my makeup bag i just carry my makeup around for a touch up and this makeup bag's from h&m and it's just got basic products inside i can do a what's in my makeup bag video but i'll do it separate to this video and then sort of next to the makeup bag oh and if you haven't like already noticed everything's really organized in my bag and it's all in like little pouches apart from a few things and I just love little pouches to separate things and then next I've got this math set and it's just got your what's this reflection uh, rubber oh sharpener and then your triangles protractor ruler and compass and this is from Tesco's and that was about one pound eighty and then I've got my timetable for next year it's just my timetable and where all my lessons are located so I find it easy to get round. and then I've brought a brand new um, calculator this year and I love lilac at the minute and it's lilac with lilac buttons in the centre and this is the sharp one and it's recommended for GCSE in A levels so my mum brought me that and then next um, you may be wondering why I've got two pencil cases but I couldn't fit um, colours in both things and this pencil case was really cheap and it's from B&M Bargains and it was 99p along with a cupcake, ruler, sharpener, rubber and a pencil and inside this pencil case is some Crayola colours I got from Tesco's on offer and I've also got some more post-it notes to like stick on the corners of the pages and then I've got some printed rubbers and this is really nice it's tiger print and then I've got this zebra print and just got all the pens I think that about 10 pens fits in this pencil case and I really like the design on that pencil case and then the next pencil case is from WH Smiths and I brought this new and it's just got these really nice sort of vintage birds on and this was 4 99 I think and I just got all these, hang on, because these are a set of pens. It's just got all these nice colourful pens. And these are from the brands, I don't know how to say the brand, I think it's German or something, that brand. And these are from WH Smiths. 
and I really like coloured pens because I want to make my GCSEs next year as fun as possible so when it comes to revising and also in the pencil case I've got some more rubbers and oh I absolutely love this one it's a leopard print rubber and this is all the rubbers by the way came in a pack from WH Smiths for about £1.80 pence. and then giraffe print and then this pencil sharpener that came with the other stationary pencil case and then you I've also got some more the sticky I, I really want to know what these are called because they're really good and then I've got the pink ones I'm really obsessed with that post-it notes if you can't tell and then I've got some mechanical pencils there was 10 in this set but these are from the brand Paper Meat, and I really love Paper Meat. And these are really cool because you don't push the end down, you wind this end. And I just can't stand people when they waste time, like they waste time sharpening the pencils. I know I've got a pencil sharpener, but it's like in case of emergency if I lose all these. And I can't stand sharpening pencils, they give me blisters sharpeners do. And I just dislike pencils and then next I've got some more Cruella pens and these are just the basic colours I think I need to like highlight things with and I really like these let me pick one like the tip of the pen is for like fine line and then you use like the side to get a thick line and I really really like these pens they're well worth the money and I've also in my pencil case got the cupcake and this is 15 centimeters and then at the bottom of the bag I've got another notepad and this is from the works and it was meant to be 7 99 but it was 2 99 and I really like this floral design on the front and it's got 100 line pages um 100 line pages inside of it and then in the zipper pocket of my bag um there is um, a calculator guide basically what buttons to press like so I can't lose that so I kept it in there and also I've got a pink print stick and I think this is super cute and my mum thought it was just the outer packaging not pink but the actual glue is pink and I really like this because apparently it stains the paper hang on oh no it doesn't stain the paper oh yes it does I don't know if you can see that. It stains the paper pink so you know where your glue is. And this is about £2.80 or something like that. And then I've also got another information booklet for my calculator. And in the like holdy, it's really awkward to show. In the holdy things there, I've got a hand sanitizer from the body shop. And it's mango hand cleanse gel. And and it smells absolutely lovely and I got this in the coconut as well so when this runs out I'm just going to use the coconut one and this is £2.50 and I was going to get the soap and glory one but unfortunately it was out of stock and then next I've got this oh, I brought this from body shop in the sale it's £2 and it's a Dilipsius um, sheer lip colour and it's in the shade, where's the shade on this? 05, but it doesn't have a name. And I'm actually wearing this now if you're wondering what I'm wearing on my lips. And I like this because it's just a sheer lip tint and it looks purpler in here. But I've never dared to wear like a purple lipstick. And then until I found this, it's... I've got to swatch it. It's this really nice sheer long lasting lip tint and it's absolutely moisturising and it's really easy to apply. Like, I can apply it without a mirror. And I love the smell of it. It smells like cherries and I don't know, it's just really really handy and I would definitely recommend going to the body shop sale and getting one of these. I also got one in the shade 02 and that's like a um, I forgot the shade a nude like orangey shade and I really like that so I think that's the bottom of my bag and if you haven't noticed my bag is really really deep I can stick my coat on <laughs>
anyway i really hope you enjoyed my first back to school series video and thank you for watching so please remember to like if you found this video interesting and don't forget to subscribe up there or up there i always do that i need to learn which side it is and thank you for watching bye <laughs>